Hey everyone, it's the CJ here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. Yeah, we are starting off in our house after you know we got rudely attacked by some pillagers down here. And yeah, we got some plans for this episode. For example, we gotta finish the roof of this place that I haven't done. Uh, and we're gonna dig for this storage room that we're planning to do. And also I'm thinking of working something out down here. But first of all, I'm gonna prep my inventory because we are going in a small mining session. As usual, I'm just gonna fill up my inventory and, you know, come back and show you all the things that I've got. So, hey, I'll be back. And we're back out of our mind there. We got our inventory full, and we are going to put those things away. Uh, it's getting kind of tight in here, so I definitely need to do that storage room in here. But let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Look at all of this. And look at that. I got seven more diamonds, a couple stacks of redstone, a couple stacks of lapis. Uh, I got some iron and some more stuff. Let's see, 29 diamonds already. That's good to see all the time. Uh, yeah, so our... I think what we're gonna start today is just making the storage room because I, as you can see, I don't have any... I don't want to fill this up with chests. And yeah, this guy's gonna get angry if I do. Yeah, I'm leaving your house probably today. Yes. Uh, I, okay, we need to remove those hay bales because our people keep getting trapped in here. How, how do you guys manage to do that? Like, I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> Anyways. Let's see. Oh, we still need to finish that roof, but I'll do that off camera. It's just a couple slabs on top. It doesn't matter. Alright then. Let us start digging, I guess. So, I dug up this nine deep hole from our shed, going straight down, and I've dug out this 3x3 three three corridor that we're going to use. Uh, my idea is to have this sections right here just going a little bit to the back and have it filled with chests, each with a category, like for example, here goes minerals, here goes blocks, and so on and so forth, you know. And over here at the back end, as you can see, I have to block off some things because there is quite the ravine down there, which I've mostly lit up. I still need to get some of the minerals, but I'll do that in another time. Um, what I want to do back here is a small room where we have our crafting stations. Uh, a couple of furnaces. Nothing too fancy, maybe just one block. I don't think we need a lot of space for this one. Or... You know what I thought? We could actually make a super smelter in here. We can just leave this place over here. Hmm. That is a good idea. But for now, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to make a stairway going up so I'm not, you know, just blocking in and out. And yeah, let's start with it. I'm going to do this on camera so you guys can see the process. We use slabs and slabs and logs. Oh, by the way, yeah, I had to go and take away some of the stuff in my inventory because it was getting a little bit full. And I made myself my diamond pickaxe, as you can see. So we are getting to the diamond stage, boys. So this lines up with the entrance, I don't think it will. Maybe it will? Who knows? Definitely won't. Yeah, no, this, we need to change this. We want this to be like the first block, so... I guess. Now we won't leave the walls like this, I'm gonna change them to wood. Most likely, and probably like a combination of stone as well. 
like kind of like in a gradient you know starts with wood and then slowly turns into stone as we go deeper who knows i wanted to make the basement wooden though this just looks nice you know uh, it kind of breaks that cave feel with all the stone and everything so what might be the way to go I am going to do oak, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna go the roof and the floor with spruce. So it kinda contrasts. Just you know, make it have a a nice little look. So we don't wanna have a an ugly storage room. I'm assuming no one wants that. Yeah, it finishes right here. Now over here, I'm going to place a log. Go for torches for now. Pull it up. So here. And let's see. Can we place this? Yes, we can. Right, we'll have this little pillar right there, a fence. I don't have a fence on me right now. We'll need a door as well. And... Yeah, it's a sale well done. So, you know, whenever everyone's like, oh, this is a little shit, it's going in there. Bam. You go down and you go to my storage room, which is going to be pretty large. And I like that. Because uh, if we survive for long, you know, we're going to need a lot of storage. I'm not, too, I'm not a fan of this ladder. Hmm. I might change it later. Uh, we'll see how this goes. But for now, you know, let us start decorating. So I save you the time, I guess. I already did this floor right now. And I dug out one more layer of the roof so I can show you the detail that I want to put in the in it. I'm gonna go with logs in here and we're gonna do like a small little thing maybe with stairs maybe with slabs who knows um but why because i want to have this middle part free so whenever we get glowstone we can just place it there i'm going to leave this back area right there because like i said if we're going for a super smelter we might need all of that space so i'm not gonna move that i'm gonna take this Let's see, do we have any stairs? We don't. Let's make a couple stairs and check this out. We can probably do something like this. And slabs in the middle. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna craft a little bit more of those. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so I finished digging out some of the parts in the walls in here. I make them too, I guess, deep. Because I'm going to place chest over chest over chest in here. And obviously, I'm going to fill up this whole little space with wood. So it kind of looks like it fits within the thing. Uh, all this will be oak, the walls. So it contrasts with the spruce over here. Um, yes, now each one of these will have its own category, which I'm thinking I might place with an iron frame in the pillars, maybe? I still haven't figured that out. Oh, take a look at that. It's a huge ravine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna save you all the trouble again to, you know, from watching me just fill this whole place up and I'll see you when it's done. So yeah, look, I've already done the walls and I've started filling out with chests. I kind of ran out of wood in here, so I could not finish the whole thing. Oh, I gotta sleep. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like the look that we wanted. We are going to have everything kind of 
organized in here and have all of them. Yeah. So chests. We are going to jump from there. Crafting stations for now. Once I start getting all the resources to get a super smelter going, I will definitely use this space. But as of right now, we are almost done. I'm gonna fill up the chests and chop more wood for them uh, off camera. And I think we can continue to the next, next time. All right, so we finished placing all the chests inside the place. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. I like how organized this looks. I tied it up a little bit. I'm going to do some more decorations in a little bit later. But yeah, I'm liking this so far. And now, what I'm thinking of for labeling all of those chests, there is a zombie nearby, there's probably in the ravine down there. Oh god. Um, for labeling all of those chests, I'm gonna use item frames. And, ooh, I need to work on this wall as well. Yes. There's a lot of things I need to do. Yeah, but, what do we need to make iron? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just confused. What do we need to make iron frames? Uh, leather and sticks. Which, you know, we have a lot of sticks because we got a bunch of trees growing. But, we need the leather. So, I am going to make a cow crusher around here. So, it can provide us with uh, the leather that we need and awesome food source. And this is going to be an easy farm to make. Let's see, we got a chest. Let me go and pick up my other resources from there. I still haven't moved them because, like I said, I want to label the chest first. Uh, it's gonna be an easy farm to make. Why? Because a cow crusher is a farm that uses the game mechanics. Uh, there is an entity cap per block, meaning you know you can only have as much uh, entities, as many entities in one block as you can. I think the cap is twenty-two. I don't remember. But it's super easy. What we're going to do is just basically trap a couple cows in there, just breed them until they reach the cap, and when we continue breeding, they'll just automatically die. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a hopper, a couple blocks to make it pretty. Do we have any stone? Yes, we do have any stone bricks. Uh, any stone? We have some side. I'll take that. Uh, doesn't seem like we have any normal stone. Uh, which is cool. Don't worry about it. Now, oh, our leads. We're gonna need those. Uh, leads, leads, leads. And this one too. Leads, there you go. And do we have any fences? So we can tie up those things. Things, I say. Those cows to our... Closer to our... Think is getting the cows inside. It's gonna be quite the trouble. Let's see. Come on, let's go. Move. Move. <laughs> no, that was a bad joke. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. No, I'm disappointed. Uh, you know what? I deserve that. You don't deserve that, but I do. Got all the cows just went loose. Where's your lead? There you go. Now, why are you guys escaping? Um, am I moving too fast? I probably am moving too fast. Yeah, this guy got stuck in the, in the cave. Come on. Come on, don't stay in here. Let's go. Okay, so I'm planning to have this as another thing for later, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our cow crusher probably in this corner right here. It's a small farm, so we shouldn't have any problems. Oh god, I just release you. There you go. Stop placing torches. Jeez. Okay. That's super easy. What we are going to do, we're gonna do it in this corner right here. It looks pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna use some spruce. We're gonna spruce it up. Okay. Yeah, I'm just no. 
we're gonna place our hopper in here pointing to this direction because we're gonna have a chest we can make it double we can make it single i don't mind all of our cows would drop here so we're gonna just do some of this just a little bit of random going on and we're gonna have to place a stair we got our stone, stone cutter oh it's almost about night time so we're gonna sleep just give me a stone big stair there you go and we'll see you guys at the next day damn all right so it's just basically like i said a simple machine that just gives you resources place this so you can still open the chest down here oh, i'm actually gonna replace those two logs because that one looks a little bit better there you go that looks quite good uh let's block this with cobblestone so we don't want any transparent blocks otherwise the cows will be able to just get through it uh the only block that we want is this right here uh even if it doesn't you know what i might get another now let's try it out like this Take this guy. We're gonna bring it up, 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 up. Come on. Up, up, up. We're gonna lead him to our cow crusher. Come on. Go in. Let's push him around until he. There we go. And our oh, leech should be safe in here. Yep. Another one. Come on, you can do it. Climb up. There you go. And we got our two cows in there. I'm just gonna pull them away so the lead breaks down and it falls there. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna take our leads. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a couple more cows in here. And I'm gonna start breeding them. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we managed to get a total of six cows in here. Those are the ones that were nearby. And as you can see from my number of leads, uh, we found another wandering trader that he willingly gave us his leads. Nothing happened to him, I promise. He just left. He just was like, yeah, dude, you know, you need the leads. I'll uh, just give them to you. Just, hey, have a good time, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what happened. So we got four leads now. That would be great for us to you know get some more animals around now since we have these cows i am going to breed them now because i have uh, i have some hay bales around and oh i forgot i need to make them yeah um oh god i built this farm all wrong well not really let's see we have it Yes, we do. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to... Well, there we go. Yeah, this is a little bit of a mistake that I made here. Um, what I'm going to do here, though... Right here. I'm going to get my stone bricks prepared because I'm going to pick up the water. No, not like that. 
gonna pick up the water and place it somewhere. Right, because that would happen. That's cool, that's cool. Doesn't matter. We can pull them back in. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually fix this farm because we need a dispenser and a bucket of water. So, yeah. I think I'll do that off camera, fix this because I'm already running late. We have no time for this episode anymore. So, yeah, after we messed up our farm, there's nothing left to do, but hey. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I really enjoy making these and yeah, they're super fun and I'll keep doing those. Um, so the Christmas season is coming and hey, I don't know when this video will get uploaded, but hey, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.